Hi there and welcome back to the Black Sheep Karako Yunlu, friends and fellow thinkers. This is our new royal couple, Sultan Hassan Ali Karakon Yunlu, who is an administrator. And he's a little bit diplomatic, but mostly he relies on his well connectedness. With advisors' costs going down, and so is Kenda Kazai, our only advisor at the moment. Is a little bit cheaper, quite. And uh, as you can see, his Sultana is a very good catch, but she's also no good in military. Different to the newborn, the very sturdy Iskander, the Black Ram of Karakoy Yunlu. Uh, he's very strong and he also has a strong claim. Uh, she's a babbling buffoon, so will not be very good in diplomacy either. And so, as both of the couple are interested in administration, we'll set the national focus to administrative, to have even more administrative power. Um, note, this is role play. <laughs> We're optimizing other decisions, but not this one. This is like the role play. They would definitely focus on their administrative strengths because it's the only strength they really have and so they will do that <laughs> right <laughs> so welcome to Hazan Ali the administrator what will the administrator do he'll probably try to uh, unite the country to bring cause everywhere to uh, probably have the same culture everywhere even or to have a lot of culture there, to, to um, use missionaries, to unite the land. He'll do all these things, um, like also reducing overextension, that his father wouldn't have done. That his father would have said, ah, bah, let's go for a war, we need to win. And he will go for like, yeah, a more pragmatic view, a very pragmatic view. So... There's that. The next thing on his agenda might be to convert, where was that, Van to, to Shiite. Uh, and probably uh, to pay back the loan at the opportunity to, that will come. He'll wait though, because he's not that competent too. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, what, what will he do too? He will re yeah, reduce the, the core problem, the overextension, and all kinds of things like that. And still though, oh no. <laughs> and now our, our advisor dies. That's not something, that's not something Sultan Hassan likes. We need a new advisor. Whom would he take? National tax modifier. That would probably be a good advisor for us. Then we would need a diplomatic advisor. Diplomatic reputation would go up. Would be nice to have. And a military advisor. I don't know if they would even take a military advisor, but uh, if they would definitely take Iskander Jahan with their land with its land maintenance modifier decreased so let's go for Iskander Jahan he also is called like their newborn which probably helps and uh Aved is Shahinyan this diplomatic reputation might help too. They will not go for spy network construction or these intricate things. Go for that. And the national tax modifier is probably something well liked by our Shah, uh, by our Sultan, Alakhyar Ansari. There we go. So there we go. We're now nearly broke. <laughs> We can reduce, no, we cannot reduce the corruption yet. We need to wait a little bit. We can make another call now. 
Oh, and we've gained a lot of core provinces, and now the corruption goes down. There we go. And that's what we can do. Well, that is the prognosis. And very soon we may repay our loan. Because that is, that is what good administrators do, right? So that is the reign of the great administrator. Probably not too bad. Oh, and now Sufi orders are growing in popularity in Ardalan. Some of the more prevalent Sufi orders in Karakoyunlu have quickly started to establish themselves in the newly acquired Ardalan. And Ardalan is home, um, is, has been given to the Ulima. And the Ulima... Wait for it, come on. Represents the educated priests of our state religion. So that is... Interesting. While well, locals seem somewhat hesitant about Karakon Yundu rule, they've embraced the orders, and this has greatly eased the integration of the province into our sultanate. So we could go, this is excellent. Local unrest goes down in Ardalan. Mm, yeah, or strengthen the legal establishment instead, which would lead the autonomy to go down. And uh, we're not a wild one like our father. If it would go for gameplay, I'd definitely go towards mysticism here and local unrest goes down. But we'll strengthen the legal establishment instead and move towards legalism. And Quam is also a core province. Ah, nice. And we can probably form a state. Let's see. We have Iraq a Ajam and Tabaristan, which is here, of which we only have one province, and then this one. Ah, uh, yeah. That oh, that was Sherman, and that is Tabaristan, from which we have rushed. And we still need Sari, Lajan, Golestan, and Amol. So this way. Mm. I think it's relatively clear which we'll make as a state. Iraq, Ayajam is a territory and we'll make it a state. Increase our income. Autonomy has been reduced to lower levels. There we go. And we can call them two, which we will hopefully very soon. And we have Persian provinces there, which needs further a further look. Persian provinces. Uh, the Ajami separatists. Hmm... No, we'll not accept. So how is that going? Persia belongs to the same culture group. But Mashriki must be must be integrated very soon. Armenian we're working on taking that out. Nothing against you, Armenians, but Van is the last Coptic one, and yeah. We'll just do that. We'll do that. They lack cores. Let's use Quam here, and then Savar, and then Tehran to be cores. Austria has embraced the Renaissance. Whoa. Ardalan is part of our patrimony. 
Estates, oh, the estates. The Amirs want more land. Hmm, do we have some godforsaken country for them? We would need a country with good manpower. Maybe Karbala. I don't, I don't know. No, uh, maybe this, this, this place, Hadita. Let's have a look. We can do. Oh, the Ulima has that already. <laughs> All right, I have talent for that. And uh, this one here, Raba, has also unrest. Would happen if we give it to the Amirs. Manpower recovery speed. Um, local manpower modifier goes up. Rather Sinjar then, right? Oh, that is already in the hand of the Amirs. And that one, that is Kurdish. It's in the hands of the Ulima. Maybe Arbil, I mean. It's Sunni still. It has a lot of manpower. Hmm. Kuramabad, no. One of the new provinces, Tehran, nah. Kwaswin, they all have silk. Don't want to give them the Silk Province. Yeah, maybe it will be Sinjar. Maybe that's not a bad choice. Oh, it's already, yeah, I forgot that. Uh, maybe it's Hadita. Some of what? Mm, was it? I think was it is okay. Let's give it to the Amirs. So that they're happy. They need to contribute something then. Hmm. Well, actually, they don't. They are now loyal enough only. And we need to find a new ally too. Who could that be? Who likes us? Probably no one anymore after our conquest conquest uh, spree mm, diplomacy friends hmm yeah that's our friends neighbors all of them bamanis and muscovie where is bamanis Bomanis, where are you? We don't know. It needs to be somewhere, right? Oh, that's that's Bomanis. Ah, uh, and they kind of tolerate us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then we have Muscovy. Really, Muscovy? We cannot even contact them. Look at that. We have the Mamluks. We have improved relations with them. <laughs> ah, this is terrible. Let's look at our neighbors. Yeah, probably the Mamluks. Well, we'll send a diplomat there. It doesn't hurt, right? Khorasan. They absolutely hate us <laughs> because of our exp aggressive expansion. Then we have Luristan and Haza. They hate us too. Hormuz is okay, but they're Sunnis. 
Are there some Shiites? Yeah, I mean the Yemen. And the Arden. Maybe Yemen. Yemen is okay size. Let's send someone to improve relations. Oh no! Stop relation improvement actually. Uh, my god! No one Shiite here. The Oman is Ibadi. Ibadi. That's going to be interesting if, if we play Oman. No. Ooh, ooh. Maybe we'll look to the Christian ones now again. Kirkasia. The Ottomans are hostile. Um, okay, we'll send them. We'll send them someone. Hey, Ottomans. How about we like each other now? We have improvements in production technology. Let's see. There are reports of farmers and miners being more productive than local bailiffs expect them to be. should investigate if there is something that the entire nation of Karakoyundu can benefit from. Uh, we could spare no expenses, and we're administrators, so... We would make that, and it's also good, I think. 50 administrative power, we could reduce inflation. 75 by 2. Yeah, spare no expenses. That's what the administrators do, right? We spare no expenses and we'll gain a core for that too. We do make a good and proper administration. What's happening to no guy? Yeah, and now we have converted and now, hmm, where was that state? Let's remove that and uh, we wanted one to be converted. We'll enforce religious unity here. And we'll send send our missionary. To Kurdistan. Oh the Timurids will cede a lot. They have accepted peace with a jam. Look at that. <laughs> Oof. Let's see how the map changes now. Oh, and this is occupied by Khorasan. Poor Timurids. The Great Horde is now taking its attack. Its diplomatic attack. Losing your great power status. Uh, that's not good, I guess. Because of our Renaissance, probably. Unrest is terrible too. As the Ajamis. Oh, we have to get for harsh treatment. And we should boost stability at the at the earliest possible, but first of course. Oh yes, uh, I mean Recall the Ottomans. And Koramabad is there. And we've reduced overextension, which 
increases our diplomatic reputation. And now, what would the administrator take as a... Hmm. Protect our brethren in Hovjese. Where's that? Hovjese. Where is that? It must be some kind of border province here in Hasa. Hmm. They're in a coalition against us and allied with Oman. Mm, that's not something we need. It's also not something an administrator would take. Encroachment of the Amirs. Oh, yeah. There is their encroachment. You can watch it. It's hard to monitor everyone, everywhere, all the time, and the boundaries between individual land properties are often grounded in old traditions or documents written when the landscape may have looked different. For someone with the right resources, this can be exploited. A number of prominent Amir's families have used their considerable influence in Tabriz to get away with expanding their properties considerably. If we want to protect the property of the state, we must act soon. Yeah, and we, we don't really like the Amir's. They are military madmen. Uh, landed aristocrats and we could have a <laughs> guard in Tabriz even in our capital they want to they want to take our capital they want to take Sanjan under, under their control no, absolutely not. They will lose loyalty then. Well, we can call it a diet. We'll lose prestige, but still. They will gain even more influence then. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> They're at 49 now, so we would have to wait. Yeah, we, we will have to demand that the land be returned because we're administrators. We cannot let this happen. And we'll have to wait a bit because we don't want to call a diet and give them even more influence. There we go. The relations with the Mamluks are also... Mm, Oh, look at that. <laughs> the, the Ottomans are taking apart everything. Safeguard Eastern Anatolia. Um, a royal marriage? No. To build a spy network or counter espionage. Hmm. We'll use counter espionage to Akko Yunlu. And I don't know what else uh, we should do. We need another rival. We have the Great Hall and the Timurids. And what could, could we take now? Akko Yunlu. Or Georgia. Or the Mamluks or Transoxiania. Akkoyunlu is the natural choice, right? Georgia is also a good choice. Because they are ah they are allied with a great hall. Yeah, that makes sense then too. Maybe maybe we want Georgia because it's less risky. The Timurids, the Great Horde, and Georgia. If we expand, we will expand into that direction. May the Ottomans and the Mamluks clash among each other. We are hopefully recovering. Ooh. Do we 
have here Kirkasia. Enemy of enemy. Krim. The Ottoman Krim. Transoxiana. Enemy of enemy. Oh. And the Nogais and the Kazakhs. Oh, we don't even know anymore. Muscovia. Muscovia kind of likes us. Maybe that is the new thing against the Great Horde. Yeah, it could be. This could be something that he hears from his advisors. Against the Great Horde. We must corner the Great Horde and Georgia. The rival of our rival is Muscovy. Definitely, what that's what we want to do. So they should be our friend. Totally, yes. This is our alliance in the making. Georgia. Ah, discovered. Can we fabricate new claims? No, we'll stop building the network then. Yes. So, thank you for watching this first um, episode of our Sultan, Sultan Hassan Ali, the Administrator. We'll see each other in the next episode where we'll administrate some more and even better against the Great Horde and Georgia. Have a good time until then and happy gaming to you. May the black sheep guide you on your way.